Hey guys, welcome and welcome back if you're new. So this is actually super short notice, as most of my videos are, but I'm gonna curl my locks. We just got home. We were out at this restaurant in Brooklyn and yeah, y'all don't care about that, but I'm gonna curl my locks. I just decided I wanted to do a flexi rod set. I've never done it on my locks before. I had these flexi rods for God knows how long. It's been years and I just, I never really used them. Maybe like once, but long long time ago and i just decided why not let's do it now so my hair is relatively freshly interlocked as y'all can see um it's only been like a week yeah i interlocked it like a week ago and it's still very very new Aside from, you know, obviously my edges because I wash my hair every day, so that gets frizzy, but still very fresh. And my scalp is still very, or the interlocking is still very close to my scalp, which is why I'm not going to do the flexi rods like all the way up. I'm kind of going for like very loose waves. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic, but that is what we're gonna do. And by the way, I am not going into this with any sort of plan. I'm thinking to just kind of put them at the bottom and roll them on the flexi rod like that way. You know what I mean? Y'all will see. Uh, I'm gonna do this as I go or figure this out as I go. So we'll see how this all turns out. I'm sure it's not gonna look too bad. And if y'all are wondering, these are the size flexi rods I'll be using. So uh, I don't know what the diameter is in terms of like inches or centimeters rather, millimeters, I don't know. But it looks to be about half an inch. Yeah, about half inch. All of them are the same size. And let's just see how this works. I'm probably gonna do about five locks, four to five locks per flexi rod set. Cause I, again, I want them to be big, like kind of wave like curls. Now that I think about it, I probably should just do a braid out, but we're not going to do that because I already know the results of a braid out. I want to try these. So we shall see. Let's get started. So notice I only did them on the ends. I didn't put it all the way up to the root, which is why it's just kind of dangling off like that. I want that because I only want the curls to be kind of on the bottom and not so much focused in the root area. The next time I do this, I'll probably do it on hair that is like more grown out, not so freshly interlocked because, you know, you'll get more of the volume at the top. But since I just interlocked and there's not as much volume at the top, I usually a either leave my locks just like straight down or if I'm if I am going to do something like this, I'll do it only at the ends. So if you guys see that it's not tight to the root, it's intentional. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my head and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, guys. So I finished my whole head. As y'all can see, it's, they're very loose, not super neat or anything like that. I'm not really looking for that, honestly. Um, I just want them to be, I just want the locks to have body, really. So 
not really looking for perfection so as so this is all i'll do spray the roots a little bit spray down the locks as you can see i've been doing four well this one has five but that's because it's my last group but for the most part i've been doing four um four locks per flexi rod and then i'll take and I still don't have like this all the way down, y'all. So <laughs> my technique is like all over the place. But basically, I'll just kind of do one of these and like very, very roughly roll it up. And I'll just make sure that it's curled like like that and then the ends if the ends fall off i'll just wrap it back around and then i'll just make sure that this is holding it and i'll just like squeeze it together and if it flops again it's fine because i don't want the curls so close to my scalp anyway and that's pretty much it. This one is naturally leaning to that side, but whatever side is most comfortable for me to sleep, I'll just put it that way. And then these, actually this one, this one was a mess, so I'm going to redo that one. And if it's bent, I'll just kind of straighten it out a little bit. And just roll it up. that's much better by the way guys let me know if it's just me but whoever interlocks does your scalp itch a lot after interlock like a few days after interlocking i don't know mine kind of does not like an insane amount but like it just itches i guess because the scalp is exposed i don't know see now this one is like falling apart a little bit but yeah as i was saying does your scalp itch after you interlock? I know mine does. So we're done. This is how it looks. I have no idea what it looks like in the back. So we're going to see together. I had a feeling I was going to lose one, but no big deal. We'll just redo it. And that's it. So I don't know how I'm asleep, <laughs> honestly, but we're going to figure it out. Uh, I have one of those long bonnets, but it's long. It's not like big. The only thing I have like that is like my shower cap. And obviously that's a shower cap. I think I'm just going to put my scarf and fold it in a way where it covers everything, but they're soft. So hopefully sleeping is not going to be too uncomfortable but we will see so anyway i'm gonna wash this makeup off and i'll see y'all in the morning hey guys so this wasn't the next morning this ended up being the next evening like after work hence the robe but this is how they turned out after a full shift i wore them down today so they dropped a little bit but honestly they didn't drop a whole lot um, they didn't come out super tight to begin with which is what I intended I didn't want them to be really tight I just wanted body really and this achieved that so I got some body some like tassels really not even curls but they're just kind of like tassled and they just have some texture so uh, yeah this is how they turned out they're probably not gonna last more than a week 
and by the time I post this video it will have been a week and I can tell you guys now that honestly they lasted longer than I expected them to again they just didn't remain tight so they kind of just stayed like this and there's me talking to my three-year-old because of course she's in the bathroom with me and they never leave mommy alone so anyway yeah so just showing you guys how it looks in slightly better lighting it's still kind of yellow but whatever here my husband is just making me laugh so ignore that <laughs> but yeah this is again how it turned out a little closer up so y'all can see a little more detail again not much curl but more body and texture than anything which is what i was looking for so got that and again it looks like it's not gonna last long but they actually lasted way longer than i expected the body that is because obviously there is no curls so here i'm just showing you guys how i actually put it up for bed it's nothing special nothing neat nothing like that at all um as y'all could see i'm just really scrunching it all up on the top of my head and then with my elastic i'm just gonna kind of secure that not even really secure it but like make it so that it doesn't go anywhere secure it makes it sound like it's tight and it's not at all as you can see it's just something to keep it or keep them all up at the top of my head just making sure they're all kind of in there so here I got my huge bonnet this was the long one I was telling y'all about that I didn't think would work um but it ended up working a little better than what I told y'all before or what I showed y'all before with the regular scarf only because it has the elastic band around the perimeter and then the excess I just tucked it in the back so that worked out pretty well of course my daughter steps on the light at this point i'm off the bed and i'll see y'all in the next one